Hi everybody, welcome to this video today where we're going to be talking about creating a time slip in vMix. And you might be thinking, whoa, 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 what is a time slip? That sounds pretty ominous. Uh, and quite frankly, it is. Um, you know, I should make this a little bit more dramatic. So today we're going to be talking about creating a time slip. So what is a time slip? Do you remember when everybody used to talk about pausing live TV, being able to rewind and fast forward live television. Well, that's essentially what a time slip is. You're using a time slip um, for playing delayed live content. It allows you to create a real time recording that can be accessed live. So you could be doing a vMix production, but also be creating a full recording of it that you can go back and forward on. Now that's very similar to an instant replay. Well, essentially it is an instant replay, but it's just a different way of using it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set that up and how to use it. So first of all, I'm just gonna show you a quick example. Maybe you've got room one and room two. They've got different content happening in them. So you've got a band in one, you've got a different band in another one. And they're happening, well, they're finishing at different times. But you want room one to have the same speaker as room two. How, do you, how are you going to do that? Well, in vMix, if you're doing your full live production, you could have everything in room one totally live. So everything, you've got a full production happening in room one. Now, you can use vMix to record the content of this, and when room two is ready, all you need to do is play everything out to room two. So maybe that's five, 10 minutes later, you can just use the recorded content and play that over in room two. So you might be thinking, well, how would I use that? Well, sometimes when you go to conferences, they might have different workshops that finishes at different time, but they have a keynote speaker that um, is on in one room, but the second room wants to watch it, maybe at a five or 10 minute delay. Or a church service where you have a worship service um, for a certain part of the congregation, uh, another one in, for a different uh, part of the congregation that go at different times. Um, you can use a time slip to record the footage of the speaker in, in the room one, and then uh, play that over in room two when they're ready for it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set that up. You will need vMix Pro or 4K. vMix 4K does have a single channel of instant replay, and that's all we need for this uh, time slip setup today. So we're going to go into the settings. I should show you my desktop here. Now I'm gonna go into add input, and I'm gonna set up instant replay. So essentially a time slip is just creating an instant replay, but instead of cutting it up for highlights, you're just recording the whole thing so you can play it out. Now up the top here, you'll see things like session folder, recording format, and that type of thing. Now this information um, goes into a lot more depth on our instant replay video. So if you do have any questions, it's probably best to watch that video first just to get a little bit more acclimatized with that. And I'll pop a little link up the top here. Um, okay, so you need to select a folder and the recording format. Uh, and then underneath that, you'll see the cameras. Now in vMix, you're able to select cameras or outputs for your instant replay recording. Um, so I'm going to select output one because typically if you're doing a time slip um, so you can play out the delayed content, you want the full production. You don't just want a camera. So I'm going to select output one for this. That's going to do my full production. Now for the audio source, I'm, I can select a camera, but I'm going to select the master audio because I want the fully mixed edited audio to be sent through um, and recorded in vMix. So I'm gonna click okay. All right, so now there are a couple of other things that you'll need to set up. Firstly, you'll need to go into the output settings. Now I'm gonna use NDI for my recording. As you can see here, I've got a laptop here hooked up with NDI waiting for this channel to start. So in my output here, um, I'm going to select my instant replay channel. So instant replay input is on 14. So I'm going to select input 14 to be sent out via NDI. I've got NDI on. And for the output settings here, I'm going to need to change the audio channel to bus A. So when I play it out, it's not gonna include any live audio, it's only going to record, play out the recorded audio that's on my instant replay. It's not gonna get all, all of the audio jumbled, it's just playing my time slip audio. So I'm gonna set that up as bus A, so this is important. Click OK, and then OK again. If you didn't see bus A, you will need to go into the audio outputs here and enable either bus A or bus E for doing that um, audio out. Then you'll need to go into the audio mixer and then just select the time slip footage as bus A uh, and turn off the master. So it's just going to be playing out via bus A. But because we set up the instant replay to record the master audio, 
Um, you'll still get the master audio recorded, but you're just playing it out over bus A. All right, so let's go into the instant replay section now. So to start an instant replay, we can just hit the record button here. Now you notice that number 14 um, is now recording my uh, recording whatever's happening in my um, output because that's how we've got it associated. Um, and then we can move it along and do different things. So that's going to be confusing to do that. So I can put that up um, like so. All right, so now I'm going to jump to this laptop here and I'll show you that I'm playing it out. So I'm back in my vMix and as you can see here, if I clap my hands, um, I should play the video first. Let me just play it. I'll go to the end and I'll play it. So it'll clap and then I should, wait a minute. Let's just play this out. There we go. So I've got it playing now, um, playing it out live. And so if I clap now, you'll see it clap live. Uh, and so if I go back, I can go back in time to right at the start when I was showing you how to set it up. Um, so I've got all my different windows and stuff happening there. Uh, and if I can zoom all the way forward, that's when I clapped the first time and I hadn't played it. That's where I clapped the second time. Uh, and that is me watching me. Um, so again, if I go ahead and clap my hands, you can see me clapping my hands live. So that's very exciting. So that's a delayed play out. So if I went all the way back to the start and then played that out to whatever location, they could watch it from, from the get-go, from the start of this uh, the time of when I hit the record button. All right, so I'll just jump back to the desktop quickly uh, and show you how I've set that up. So I was moving this along. Um, so if I put this one up here, you might be able to see it. So you can see it changing um, as I move it along to different locations, as you can see in this uh, up here in the preview window. Uh, and then I can bring it back live again. You can see how I've switched back to the main location. So if I clap, you should be able to see me clap on there. <laughs> Now I've just quickly jumped into the vMix interface to show you how you would actually add that time slip source into vMix or another NDI program that you could accept um, a source to. So I'm going to go to add input and then I'm going to go to NDI like we've got here. So NDI slash desktop capture. Now if you remember we selected output 2 to be the uh, NDI output channel that we were going to send our time slip on. So that's what we've got there. So if I click on that, then I click OK you'll be able to see the output from the time slip. So I can now use that, put it on a big screen and do whatever I like with it in vMix. Now, let's just say you might have the NDI Studio Monitor. If you right click on that, select the computer and then select Output 2 and then you'll notice that will appear here as well. So I don't necessarily need vMix, I just need a way to input that NDI source and then use it in the second location um, like so. So that's... Uh, I'm sure that in the future there will probably be more applications that allow you to receive an NDI source, uh, but that's currently how we're doing it. Now, if you had an external capture device that you were bringing in, um, you would need to add it like a normal camera. So, example, if you were sending it out via a capture card from your vMix installation, but then bringing it into another vMix installation or another computer, um, you would need to use a capture device as it's not on the network via NDI. That's how you set up the... Um... <laughs> time slip uh, in vMix. Again, if, if you were doing your full production, like if you're doing your live event in vMix and doing the time slip, this is how you would do it. If you just wanted to create a time slip, you didn't want to have to worry about the main event or the, with vMix, you could just easily create a time slip. You wouldn't have to worry about the extra steps. You could just hit record and then play that out um, via the output uh, anywhere on the network or via the external capture card. Um, so yeah, that's uh, creating a time slip in vMix. If you have any questions or anything about vMix, feel free to send us an email via the website. Um, if it's technical, please send us an email. It's very difficult to, to answer questions on YouTube comments. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and uh, we will see you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vMix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.